and I just can't have my head in day-to-day -day bickering. I can't be bickering. I can't do it. It doesn't solve anything. Just constantly nitpicking. Oh, are they going to increase national insurance? Oh, what about the fuel out? Oh, uh, Keir Starmer, freedom of speech. He's going to take it away. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, God. It's no good for you people. It's no good for you. We need to have at least a couple of years of just a bit of calm. And if they are god awful, uh, then we can go back to bickering. <laughs> So a lot of people have been asking me, why are you not giving your opinions on the new Labour government, on the expenses scandal, on uh, Keir Starmer's box at the Arsenal, on uh, pensioners, on child benefit caps, on austerity. Is the Labour government just more austerity? Why are you not giving your opinions? Why are you not sharing your opinions on the new Labour government? And my answer to that is, I don't give a shit. I don't care. <laughs> I don't give a shit. On the lead up to the election, uh, on a few of my videos, I'll recap. I gave a cut. I gave this statement a few times in my videos. Just going back to the comments about Angela Rayner and her outfit. Just ignore, ignore this rubbish. It's not worth our time. Let's just talk about their results. That's all I'm concerned about. And uh, even Farage pops out, doesn't he? He always says that. You know, Starmer's got no charisma. He's dull. He's boring. Good! <laughs> Good! <laughs> I want someone dull and boring. I'm sick and tired of Boris Johnson clowning around. Farage popping up here and there. I'm sick and tired of it. Let's just get back to getting the job done. Just get the job done. I, I don't want to hear about you, to be honest. That, would, that is my wish. I've said this often in politics. My wish is, I don't want to know. Just run the country, just get things working. I don't want to hear from you, just get it done. I don't want politics in my life all the time. I want to be able to get on with my life. I want to see my friends and family. I don't want to think about politics all the time. I just want to pop up now and again and just go, how you doing on education? Oh, well, we just put this bill forward. We're going to uh, reduce uh, classroom sizes. We're, we've employed this many teachers. Great, fantastic. Keep doing what you're doing. Great, I'll check in in a bit. That's what I want. That's what I want from politics. And I stand by it. I need, uh, I, I need a sense of calm right now. After 14 years of the Tories of constantly day-to-day -day politics, what are they up to now? Corruption, blah, 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 this, that, this, that, this, that. I need a bit of calm. I need to have a break. I need to be able to give these guys a chance. I need to. Believe it or not, I'd done this back in 2010 when David Cameron came in. Okay, I didn't vote for him. Um, but I was like, let's give him a chance. Let's see what they can do. Maybe we do need austerity. Um, but, you know, after a couple of years, you start looking around. You think, Jesus Christ, the homeless population seems to have exploded. What the hell is this? A food bank? What the hell is a food bank? Jesus, people are really struggling to, to pay their bills. What's this um, bedroom tax? You know, you start looking around, you see people really struggling. You see a government of the, uh, after a couple of years that have just distinctly made things worse. So you start having a go, you start bickering, you start moaning, which is what we do in Britain. We don't really do anything serious. We just bitch, bicker and moan. And I need to give them a chance, guys. I need to give them a chance. You know, I started to... <laughs> what were we expecting, exactly? We know that this Labour government is not a million miles away from what David Cameron was offering back in 2010. I still stand by the fact out of the two options, they're probably the better one. How much better, we will find out. Um, but we've got to give them a chance. Um, we've got to give them a chance. And I just can't have my head in day-to-day -day bickering. I can't be bickering. I can't do it. It doesn't solve anything. Just constantly nitpicking. Oh, are they going to increase national insurance? Oh, what about the fuel allowance? Oh, uh, Keir Starmer, freedom of speech. He's going to take it away. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, God. It's no good for you people. It's no good for you. We need to have at least a couple of years of just a bit of calm. And if they are god awful, uh, then we can go back to bickering. <laughs> Maybe something a bit stronger. Who knows? Maybe Britain will change. But 
it's not a good mindset people honestly the, the amount of people that are out there that are just spending their whole day just looking oh Keir Starmer oh look he's got he's going to a box at the football oh, oh no he's going to take away freedom of speech oh no oh, bickering bickering moaning moaning bickering bickering oh god imagine just spending your whole day just going through that it just, it, it plays havoc with your mindset, people. It really does. If that's why you're spending your day just constantly involved in micromanaging day-to-day -day politics, all your interactions in your day are just negative and moaning and miserable. It's not good for you, man. It's not good for you. And the fact of the matter is, it doesn't solve anything. <laughs> Bickering and moaning has never solved anything. <laughs> Whether you like it or not, whether you voted for them or not, these guys are here. They're here for the next five years. There's nothing you can do about it. There's nothing you can change. And all your bickering and all your moaning and all your misery that you put yourself in through doing this ain't going to help. Ain't going to help a single thing. So we need a bit of calm. Let's just let them get on with it. Just shut up. Like I said in my previous videos, just shut up. I don't want to hear from you. I don't want to hear about Keir Starmer. I don't want to hear about David Lammy. I don't want to hear about any of these people. I need a break. I think we could all do with a break from this stuff, from this day-to-day -day politics. Leave, live our lives and, we're, and assess. Because that is the key point that really I want to make in this video is I, I don't care about none of this stuff. The only thing I care about is results. We're not going to see results in a couple of months. If in a year or two's time, we assess, we look, has our life changed? Has our life got any better? Has this government done anything to help people that are poor? We'll assess it then on their results and only their results. And not if Keir Starmer's got a box at the Arsenal or whether <laughs> expenses or perks of the job. I mean, Jesus Christ, we all get perks of the job, right? Even if you're... Um, working at Primark like I used to, you get a staff discount, you know, we, let's have a few perks, but I don't care about this stuff. This this is the main difference between Tory corruption and uh, what we're seeing with expensive scandals right now. The corruption from the Tories was at a time when they had done an awful job with this country. We could see this country had become worse with their governance. Right now, I don't care about expensive stuff with Labour, but if in a couple of years' time I'm seeing no results, the country is worse off, then yeah, it's time to go, hang on, why are you, <laughs> why are you having these expenses? Because you're doing a shit job. If you're doing a good job, have the perks of the job. Go to the Arsenal. I don't care if you're doing a good job, but only if you're doing a good job. Right, I'm rambling right now. Till next time, guys. Um, podcast is out every single Sunday, 9 a.m., I'd really appreciate it if you could uh, give us a watch on Spotify and Apple. We're really growing on those uh, uh, podcast platforms. And uh, this this week, I'm really excited. It kind of goes along with what I'm talking about, actually. I've got Ollie Dobson on this week's podcast on Sunday at 9 a.m., where we talk about the contagious misery of the British to constantly moan all the time. And how it actually has like an inbuilt... Maybe it's responsible for some of the problems that we have in this country. Just constant moaning. Why do we do it? This Sunday, 9am. Tune in.